Movie buffs most likely remember 2011's Sucker Punch as a promising fantasy action flick that flopped hard and received a ton of negative press, despite boasting impressive up-and-coming talent, including leading lady Emily Browning as Baby Doll. In the Zack Snyder flick, Browning plays a woman who's sent to a mental institution by her abusive stepfather following her little sister's untimely passing. Facing a lobotomy, Baby Doll pictures herself within an alternate brothel reality to help cope with her situation before joining ranks with her fellow asylum patients and planning her escape. While Browning has continued to find on screen work since leaving the world of 1960s Vermont behind her, she's since flown largely under the radar. The Australian native got her start at the age of 10 in the 1998 Hallmark movie The Echo of Thunder and spent the majority of her childhood acting in various television and movie projects in her home country. Most notably, Browning appeared in the horror flick Ghost Ship in 2002, as Violet Baudelaire in the A Series of Unfortunate Events film adaptation two years later, and in 2009's The Uninvited, before landing what initially appeared to be her breakout adult role in Sucker Punch. Apart from starring in the historical disaster movie Pompeii in 2014, Browning mainly spent the 2010s playing complex and varied roles in movies such as Julia Lee's Sleeping Beauty, the British rom-com Summer in February, the musical drama God Help the Girl, the erotic thriller Plush, the psychological thriller Magic Magic, and the crime biopic Legend. If you've never heard of or seen these projects, chances are you're not alone. They mostly played the international and indie festival circuits. 2017 saw Browning's return to the small screen in Showtime's The Affair and Stars' adaptation of the Neil Gaiman novel American Gods. Having strategically paved her own unique path in showbiz, Browning has largely kept her personal life under wraps. However, according to her Instagram account, she's been dating writer-director Eddie O'Keefe for more than two years as of the making of this video. The private pair collaborated on the film Shangri-La Sweet in 2016. It was initially believed that Sucker Punch had the potential to launch Browning's career into superstardom. However, it looks as though it became more of a dark mark among her dozens of acting credits. Despite the memorable performances of Browning and her co-stars, including Vanessa Hudgens, Oscar Isaac, and John Hamm, the movie failed to impress at the box office and among critics. According to Box Office Mojo, it was a total flop, grossing around $89 million worldwide against an $82 million budget. Many critics slammed the film for lacking substance over style. Scoring a low 23% on Rotten Tomatoes, the site's general consensus read, It's technically impressive and loaded with eye-catching images, but without characters or a plot to support them, all of Sucker Punch's visual thrills are for naught. Meanwhile, others found fault with how the film portrays women and sexual abuse. The New York Times called it a fantasia of misogyny under the guise of a faux-feminist fable of empowerment. For his part, Snyder defended the movie against the backlash, noting during an interview with Film School Rejects that it actually aimed to criticize sexist and misogynistic attitudes within the realm of geek culture. I find it interesting in a lot of ways that this movie, of all the movies I've made, has been universally hated by fanboys. It's like a fanboy indictment in some ways. They can't have fun with the geek culture sexual hangups. We're glad to see that Emily Browning has been able to overcome the backlash against Sucker Punch by following up her starring role as Baby Doll with a successful acting career and happy personal life, all on her own terms. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.